So do you ever feel like this guy? It's Colin Rick. Wondering why most of the times things are just not working out for you? Just when you thought you had a clear journey to sobriety? Some awkward and unpleasant situation forces you back into your old ways. You wake up the next morning feeling like complete sh**. Avoiding the people who you contacted last night cause you don't remember if you said anything like good or bad to them. And it just makes you feel like you have been defeated by drugs and alcohol again. You know, because sobriety was Rick's plan to have a better life, like a clean life. He even got a fancy new gym membership to stay on track, but it's currently generating zero gains and overall it seems like nothing is working. He has to make a decision before it destroys his future. Hey Rick, you have two choices. Either you take the blue pill and stay stuck in this continuous loop of being on and off from this drug, continuously wondering why you can't succeed and have a better life, or you take the red pill and I'll show you how you can change your mindset for good. Hmm... I'll take the blue one. What? Yeah man, this whole self-improvement and sobriety thing seems like just way too much man. Hmm, not bad. <sighs> this guy. Luckily the other version of Rick took the red pill and I can show you why people keep relapsing. So let's get a taste of it. You see, in reality, you have been robbed from the truth. To put it simply, drugs and alcohol just put you in this like mental jail. So you think you need them to get more friends, build better relationships and be more happy and comfortable. The actuality of alcohol is that it takes all of these things away from you cause you already had them. Then warps them around like in a really fucked up way and gives only half back to you. So you constantly need to go back to get more because you never have enough. So the key to quitting alcohol for good is to view it as it actually is. People who try to quit drinking usually watch these videos about the pros and the cons, what happens when you quit alcohol, and then they try to quit on that basis. They basically make like a mental list on things in their minds and then think if they should quit or not. Usually people view the positives as the key like to their personality, social life, energy levels, having fun, relaxing, and even having more confidence. Cause yeah, sometimes like the pros do exist, but also do the cons. As for the pros, in my opinion, they're just made up. This way of thinking I'm going to show you actually works really good with any kind of addictions or just overcoming some bad habits as well. So why did I mention in the beginning like alcohol put you in this mental like jail? It's because alcohol actually takes away your personality, your social life, and it takes away your beliefs of what you believe is fun. And over time, it makes you believe more and more that you need it in order to get those traits back. Like alcohol is some sort of like guard who tells you like, no, 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 you ain't getting those things back before you put me in your body. But what it really does, it gives you back these personal traits piece by piece, only a little and with a massive downfall at the end. And this keeps happening over and over again until you forget who you are and what you're capable of. Cause over time, if you have stopped like drinking for a while, you tend to forget the negatives, just like other situations in life, right? Maybe you had like some sort of event that everything just went so south, you embarrassed yourself and you really don't want to talk to these people ever again. But over time, it doesn't seem that bad, does it? Like over time, your brain starts deleting these little details that made it really bad and you think, yeah wasn't that bad. But just because something happened like a really long time ago doesn't mean like the situation itself wasn't bad and it's not going to happen again. So what happens when people quit drinking is of course they have these fresh like bad memories what happened when they were drinking and they naturally gravitate towards the good stuff. But over time you tend to forget and you start making these compromises with yourself like yeah I can have like one or two beers it's nothing. I can personally admit that I actually had had these thoughts before. Like I recently got back into the dating scene and I found it super difficult to connect to the person like right in front of me because I've been doing it with alcohol all my life. But then this little self-improvement me stepped in and reminded me of something that I told you in some of my previous videos. You don't become someone overnight just by thinking about it. You become the person you want to be by doing the stuff these people already are doing. I know this video will help a lot of people out, but mostly it will work really, really good if you actually decide it that you are going to quit. I remember watching these sobriety videos while I was drinking a beer myself. And I actually think I wasn't like 100% fully convinced I wanted to quit. And I really wish like this kind of video, the one we're doing right now, is the one I saw. So now that you're really sure of quitting alcohol, I'm going to show you like a really efficient method of 
viewing it. And I do encourage you to listen to this. I will make this video as short as possible. I don't want to waste your time, but I also don't want you to waste your life. So this next point is all about circles. So these circles are the people and situations that you feel comfortable in. And now let me explain it to you a little bit deeper. These circles are your shared interests with other people. And as you definitely know, there are like tons of social circles built around like activities and people. Like there's a social circle for making a band with someone, doing different kinds of sports like calisthenics, basketball, football, whatever. Your work situations, even drinking and doing drugs. But if you go to a circle that is only interested in calisthenics, then you probably are not going to drink alcohol over there. Your shared interest in that group of people is just getting fit and living a healthy lifestyle. What happens with the circle of alcohol? Usually at a young age, it's so ingrained in our brains, like a social norm or something, is that you get comfortable with a group of people that all drink that you were never supposed to meet in the first place. Because alcohol, I'm sorry I'm going to say it, it's, it's a little bit nasty, is in my opinion it's a retarding drug. All of these people gathering together and drinking at the same time just to lower their IQ to the same level as everyone else around them is just so stupid in my opinion. You never actually get to know these people and they never get to know you because the relationships are based on meaningless and shallow conversations and what kind of healthy person would want that in their life. No one. What most people think in those kind of situations is that it makes them more attractive and talkative, but what it actually does, it makes you like into this stupid thing, like blurping out like meaningless words. You're like sweaty, nasty, and if you from the sidelines, it's not good, man. Alcohol has just made you think that you need it to be more comfortable and more attractive, but you never needed it in the first place. For most people, I can say, for example, in Europe, it's uh, it's a really common thing to have alcohol in your social life from the age of 16 and upward. And that's why people feel so, so awkward in those situations without it. They actually never learned as an adult to cope with their emotions and thoughts. And yes, this might be awkward and even nervous at some times. That's actually really, really normal. And over time, you'll begin to appreciate those moments so much. But the next thing alcohol really tends to manipulate with is the idea of having fun. Like it makes you feel that you can have more fun. But this is actually another jail that you're being put in. There is no bars and this jailer is just manipulating your mind. What do most people consider fun when having alcohol around them? Going to the same place every weekend, doing the same thing over and over again and having the same conversations with the same people who are also under the influence. Fun. And they never learn and pick up anything new. Why is that? Because this is the illusion alcohol presents you with. Want to have quick fun? Get wasted. Dumb yourself down like every other person in the room. And what have you gained afterwards? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alcohol has crammed you up in this magical mental prison or something. And the more you stay in this prison, the more you think that you need it to have more fun. But real fun actually happens when you push yourself out from your comfort zone and try new things. Fun is all about learning new things, achieving new things and meeting other people that you actually enjoy being around and like genuinely bond with. So what you're doing with alcohol is you're just robbing yourself from these experiences. For example, I recently started doing all sorts of things that I never imagined myself were doing. Besides starting like a whole new business online, I actually leveled up in my calisthenics journey and I feel more fit than ever. I went rock climbing, I picked up surfing and hiking. I started to travel more and I will do it so much more in the future. I gained so many new friendships that actually have like a genuine connection. And I actually even fell in love and it feels like it's genuine for the first time in my life. So basically I have more money and energy to do all of these things I always wanted just because I changed my drinking mindset. If you're still considering if you should like stop drinking, I wish I had this thing I could like inject you with that shows you all the th good things that's going to happen. It's just amazing, man. Just take that red pill. Just think of this incredibly happy life that you will look back on 10 years from now. You're just going to look back on life and think like, wow, it's an incredible life, man. But what you're getting with alcohol is just putting you in this like magical box of fun, what makes you think that you can't have fun without it. It's basically robbing you of your life. Alcohol just makes you think this way because most of society is addicted to it. Surely someone has ever told you something like, live a little. Meaning like, have a couple of drinks, man. Come on, it's, it's not that bad. Then you drink, you'll feel 
for the next three days because hangovers actually last this long the first day you feel awful and the second and the third day you just have this brain fog and you just can't think basically alcohol is taking away 25 to 30 percent of your life that's like wasting something like 10 years 10 years man but in actuality it's even more because when you drink it's meaningless with meaningless people meaningless activities so it's all a massive waste of time and good health one of the biggest mental reasons why people actually drink in the first place is to solve problems that they caused by drinking and i hope this video hasn't gone on for too long for me it's gone on for too long but i really feel like this kind of mentality will help you out in the future after realizing this myself i even despised the thought of having like this mind numbing drug in my life i want to have those experiences i want this awkward fun i want genuine fun and i want genuine relationships in my life and i truly want you to have those things too and you can i know you can remember this community is always here for you and i'm super thankful for you watching this stay healthy and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.